From jumping out of planes to causing mass riots, here are seven YouTubers that f***ed around and got arrested. First up on our list, we have Count Dankula. For some reason, this guy thought it would be a good idea to teach his dog to do the Nazi salute. Not entirely sure what he was thinking on this. And adorable, have wee doggers. And so I thought I would turn them into the least cute thing that I could think of, which is... Buddha. Do you like that? Do you like that? Mom, you like This is just absolutely insane to me that he would teach his dog to do this. Hey, Kyle. See, Kyle. See, Kyle. Next up on our list is this brilliant guy named Trevor Jacob. He had this brilliant idea to crash his plane in order to go viral. Let's take a look. A few moments. Now, later. this one doesn't make sense to me for a few different reasons. One of the first things is, why didn't he just try to land the plane, okay? The second reason is, he has a full parachute thing on, and like, there looks like there's no damage. Plane, so it just makes absolute no sense why he just totally jumped out. Like I, I, I don't think people typically fly with parachutes on. But hey, we went up. I love how he has like a perfect view of the plane crashing, like with the camera set up and everything. It's like amazing. Like he kind of knew uh, it was gonna happen. When I first saw this, I was like, there was no way this guy isn't doing this for like views or something. Absolutely no way. I love how he acts like surprised when he sees the plane. Like, dude, the plane just crashed. Literally nothing. No anything. No water. I had a water jug in the back. Oh my god. I have no idea where I am. Thank you. God, thank you, universe. Thank you, higher power. The third YouTuber up on our list is none other than Kai. Now, to give him the benefit of the doubt, I don't think this one was intentional. Uh, but yeah, it, he did kind of cause uh, a riot. New York, bro. I'm telling you, it's a lot of y'all out there right now. Everybody who's out there, make sure y'all safe. Oh my God, it's oh. low. Yo, make sure y'all protect Chris. He got the mother camera. He got the mafia. Yeah. yeah. Right here. Now this one in particular is a little bit of a tricky one because I don't think Kai intended to have this happen but it definitely caused a riot. I mean he should have known for how big he is that when he was going to be giving away playstations for free that there was going to be tons and tons of people to show up. <laughs> Go with the book <laughs> lower Manhattan and you can see news helicopters are overhead. That's Union Square Park. The park has been swarmed wow. and basically overrun by people. Look at the crowds of people there. Um, in fact, subway lines, bus lanes, they're bypassing Union Square. It's a big subway station uh, in Manhattan. Apparently what had happened here is a popular Twitch streamer this is just absolutely crazy. I'm not entirely sure what he thought was going to happen here with this whole situation. Uh, but anyway, uh, I, I find it very funny that they're talking about Twitch streamers here. It's hilarious. So this Kai Sinat was going to do a giveaway. He announced it on his Instagram feed. Um, and look at this. It's basically become Are a they mob on top scene. Of the car? Yeah, they're on top of cars. Yeah, this wow. is Union Square. We tossed around. We saw smoke. I'm not sure if that was a fire or mm -hmm. it was kind of smoke bomb. Uh, again, this was all sparked by a Twitch streamer, a social media influencer. 
He has 20 million followers. He asked them all to come meet him here at Union Square for what was a PlayStation 5 giveaway at 4 o'clock. Apparently, we're also hearing that people showed up only to find out there were no freebies. And as you heard, he is here. At one moment, he was uh, live streaming in a van nearby, but he did step out. As you heard, he's out here greeting his fans. Uh, we even observed Chief of Department Jeff uh, Madry out here having objects thrown at him. Mm -hmm. Cops uh, are obviously outnumbered out here. Come on, I don't want to interrupt you for one quick second right now because you're looking at live pictures of a car that was literally covered with people, and we do believe that that was the vehicle that had Kai Sanat in it, which you can see now was looked as though could have been leaving the area. Oh my God, there's people on that car. Hopefully uh, they do not get there. After that, that's, that's the vehicle right there that they believe Kai Sanat is in right now. As Safan was saying, he was there. He was in the crowd for a little bit of time, but clearly this was an out of control crowd and and no, no freebies given ways. away, no yeah. giveaway whatsoever getting in the car, but clearly you're looking at a very dangerous situation with this car now driving pretty fast with those people Hanging. clinging on to the side and top of it. I, it's mind-boggling. It's mind-boggling why they're not stopping to let these people off the car. And they, oh, and then there just fell, someone fell off. Okay, joining us now is Bob Boyce, former NYPD, to talk more about this situation. Bob, can you hear us? It's Liz Cho and Sandra Bookman. I can. I can, but they can Okay, we know you're on the phone. I don't know if you have uh, an opportunity to see what's going on in Union Square, but talk to us a little bit about police procedure. Obviously, this was a situation that police were not expecting. So how is it that they start getting the upper hand in, in, in crowd control here? So they, they call the level three mobilization. That's city wide. So there's going to be cars in every precinct in the city. Community. They have to stage first, and they have to get together. Then they have to, at some point, go in and disperse the crowd. Now, someone should be on a, on a bullhorn right now, dispersing this crowd. I don't know if they're doing that yet, but that's usually what happens. Generally speaking, they'll bring mounted to aid that rear effect, and they start diffusing the crowd as best they can. It looks like you have an unruly mob right now. And they have to bring orders to it. But citywide units are coming up. The fourth YouTuber up on our list is none other than the WWE star himself, Logan Paul. Now, Logan thought it'd be a good idea to uh, do a drone shot at the Coliseum knowing it was illegal. You for this. Okay. Gosh, bro! So, for those of you who don't know, inside of this Coliseum, gladiators would fight to the death. I'm not gonna lie, my vlogs are pretty f***ing lit, but yo, it doesn't get more lit than that. That's entertainment. That's bro. entertainment, bro! They would apparently fill this thing with water and pirate ships would, like, just kill each other! Jesus Christ, dude, the amount of subscribers they would've had? Spice up a little bit. I understand, uh, drone shots here are illegal, so let's definitely do that! I have to say though, his drone shots he got from this though are really good. The other thing I want to mention though, the storytelling from Logan Paul is actually phenomenal. Like the pacing of his videos, he has it like nice and slow, like a steady line, and then it builds it up to where it's nice and dramatic. I found it. Let's just military has it. Oh, oh, that's just f***ing Oh, you got it. This is actually leading up to where he gets arrested for flying the drone. Drone is to the right by the military guy. Logan is clearly getting arrested here and being put in the back of a cop car, which you'll see in a few seconds. Get in your car with you. I'm going wherever you need. Am I getting arrested? Yeah. Where am I going? Hi. Out. What's up, G? Uh, the fly of a drone yeah. in this uh, area is illegal. No bueno. I must uh, arrest you for this. Okay. Okay. Here's Logan in the police station for a little bit. Alright. I'm sorry. It's just, we didn't want to do this. I'm sorry. Like, Sit in disaster. Italy. Te amo, but. So here's all the drone footage that he got, which was totally worth it, in my opinion.
The fifth YouTuber up on our list is none other than Jack. This time, he got arrested for reckless driving and his car got impounded. Unfortunately for him, he had to walk. I'm trying. I'm renting his car. Yeah. I'm renting his car. Yeah. 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 I don't know, I'm sorry. 85 into 35? That's why I mentioned reckless driving. Why are you going 85 into 35? I didn't know I was going 85 into 35. It's okay to be honest and say, you know what, yeah, I screwed up, sorry, it's a cool car, I just rented it. Yeah, I mean, obviously, yeah, I'm excited, I'm just like, I don't know, I shouldn't have done that. I love how he finds this, like, whole situation just, like, hilarious, he's not taking it serious at all. He might take your license. He might, like, I might get my license again. Oh, he can suspend your shit, bro. Yeah. Can I just start going back? Wait, I'm gonna call my lawyer, give him a little call, see, like, yo, what the fuck? Yeah, you were, you were going. Okay. I was going faster than 85. So, I'm gonna do the for your room. Uh, state farm. You have a copy of the card? Yeah. Nah, I want it. You did tell me to do it yourself. Shut up, Zach. You're the fing ass dude. Buddy, I was trying to show you a good time in the car. And I was terrified the whole time. You're bad luck, because I do this shit every day with the kid in the car, and I never get pulled over. Really? Like, you're in the car. It's the second time I've been pulled over. Today. Same, like, street, basically. How many times have you been pulled over? Probably 10. This is the worst. Clearly, he doesn't learn his luck. Question. Yeah, so what's happening? You're going to be arrested for reckless driving? Arrested? Yeah. So oh. you're going to be released from citation because you have a good identification, and the car is going to be impounded for 30 days. Well, can I just have... It's a rental. Can they come pick it up so... How come? How come? Because yeah. that's my decision, and I said no. But, but is there any way we can, like, work something out to where it's like, because, like, it's a guy's company. I'm so sorry for what I did, but I don't want to have to affect him for okay, something that no, I did. You should have thought of that before you went I understand that. I understand that. I just feel like there's a way where it doesn't there's have to affect to him. Out. The car's being impounded for 30 days. Why can't we just, like, I don't get why we can't just, like, have them pick it up so it doesn't have to work. Because it's my decision. It's my discretion. I understand that, but why can't you just, like, you're going 85 and a 35. I'm, he I'm, can come to the station and try to get a release and keep the registered on him. Why do we have to, like, take it that far? Because it's, like, it's not, like, we're taking it that far. Absolutely. I can we put you in handcuffs too. All right, I understand, but like I'm just right? yeah. I haven't taken it there yet. I understand that, but so I'm actually helping you out quite a bit. Thank you. I know, so but like you can call him after all this is done. You can tell him, hey, this is the situation. This is where the car is, and he could go to the station. He can present his work if he's the right owner and try and get to it. That's where we are. We're not changing any of it. There's no way you can just come pick no. it up. Absolutely. So what's gonna also then what's gonna happen like to me? You're gonna get a citation and a court case. And what will happen? I can still drive. I mean I disagree, I don't think you should. That's why I'm taking the car because I don't trust you with the car based on how you're driving. So there are a lot of reasons why the car is being But well, I mean if he picks it up, like, I'm not gonna do that. It's just to save him. Yeah, no, that's the decision you made today, yeah. and there's consequences for that decision. I understand so, that, but you can tell him where the car is. We'll give you that information, and you can tell him you could go there to get the release. All right. Anyway. So, what do you think will come out of this? I honestly don't. That's huh? up to the court. It's not up to me. You know the Island Boys? Never heard of them. He kisses them on OnlyFans. All right, all right. We don't have to say I kiss them. That has nothing to do with this. I'm gonna print you out your copy of the site. You guys will be free to go. Yeah. And the cars come with me. You're driving it? Yeah, you're driving. No, the tow truck driver's gonna drive. You're gonna drive it? It's gonna be in front. Does he have insurance? Jack totally doesn't understand like the severity of this here. He was like going to. 85 and a 35 and then i hate how he kind of like uh acts obnoxious to like paul walker like he doesn't know who he is he, he definitely know who, who he is it's, it's amazing how much you guys think this is a big joke oh we're not trying to make it a joke it's not funny at all i'm sorry i'm glad you're not dead me too the trees on sunset don't move when you're going 85 the trees don't move right you hit a car going 85 and you guys are disintegrated. I'm very good at driving. You heard of Roger Rodas? You know who that is? No, I just know the Adam Boys. What about Paul Walker, you know who he is? I still just know the Adam Boys. Paul Walker? You know who Paul Walker is? No, I'm not curious. Adam Boys, that's really about it. But yeah, I mean, I, I thought he was a, a song guy. I thought he makes songs. Paul Walker. I, mean, I guess not, but what about him? You've never seen Fast and the Furious? The guy that dies. Oh, he's the actor for Fast and the Furious. He died. Oh, so that's what you're saying. Okay. And the guy that was driving the car, it was a Porsche, was a race car driver, and he still crashed it. Didn't matter how good of a driver he was, they're both dead. How'd he crash? We should look it up. Like, did he lose control? Did he lose control? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And they both Time? Yep. Two separate cars? One car. Oh, sh All right, guys. I basically got arrested. That's basically what he said. He said I got arrested. I mean, kind of f This is the second time I got arrested in like less than a month. Like three weeks. It's terrible. This is the second time I got arrested in like less than a month. Like three weeks. It's 
terrible. Uh, you're hereby advised for participation in any formal or impromptu street race, exhibition of speed, reckless driving, or aiding and abetting in the previously mentioned activities or in any other type of dangerous vehicle movements on any highway or any property, private or public, is inherently dangerous to human life. Participating in the previously mentioned dangerous activities can result in a driver losing control of his or her vehicle and result in a crash, which may lead to death or serious injuries. If you participate in any of the activities, as such activities result in the death of another person, you could be charged with murder. You understand? Yeah, I understand. Okay, so now you've been given that admonition. So basically, if you go out and do this again and you kill somebody, it's not just man the sixth YouTuber up on our list is none other than Vitaly and Roman Atwood. They decided to do a fake ATM robbery and well, it didn't turn out so well for them. Ready? One, two, three. We got 30 seconds. Go, go. 911, what is your emergency? Hi, there is a robbery. I just saw somebody jack into an ATM bank. Here they are again robbing the ATM that they set up. Uh, thank God nobody got hurt in this prank. What just happened, man? The ATM exploded. <laughs> I really hate pranks like this because somebody's gonna get hurt one of these times. Like, I can't believe these guys don't understand how bad this could have been. You're putting our lives at risk and you're putting other people's lives at risk because we're running our license sirens trying to get here because we think somebody's trying to rob us. I understand. Uh, oh my god, they got a helicopter for us too? Wow. <laughs> Wow. Let's go. Hey, let me start this process. Do you have an idea? Yeah. Yo. Yo, they're telling that guy to press charges on us. He just pretty much basically kind of spit out his mouth, so... He's the guys in the cop car identifying his last. Yeah. Whatever, man. You got that camera? You gotta play the game. Yeah.